Hey guys, how we doing? I do hope you're very well. Uh, today we're back harvesting again. We're doing the second field today. We have a worker on the combine because it's incredibly loud. And we have a worker doing the cultivating with the big blue tractor. I've got to remember its name. I cannot for the life of me remember its name. But it's over there. It's doing well. We'll then be setting it up on stone picking. Uh, and we're going to start collecting the stones for when we start doing the uh, the, the gold. So I don't know how much we're going to get from the gold. I guess it's having, you know, the more stones we produce, the more gold we get, I guess. <coughs> Excuse me. So today we're just doing a bit of carting. Carting. There we go. Cutting. Carting. <laughs> uh, just doing a bit of carting for the um, combine while he does his thing. We may or may not be able to afford the lime spreader. Well, we might be able to afford to buy it, but we won't, <laughs> we won't be able to put anything in it. I'm going to go with this one from 82 Studio because I just like it. There are cheaper ones. But I just like the look of that one. I mean, come on, look. It is cool. It looked good on the back of that blue tractor. So, yeah. I'm going to go for the 9,000 litre option as well. Not the unrealistic one, the 9,000 litre one. There'll be plenty enough for what we need it for. He's doing very well over there. Can't see how much more he's got left to do. It's not looking like a sight, to be honest. Can't see because of the trees. He's doing something. He's figuring it out. I think that pole's confusing him. Uh, yeah, he's definitely getting confused up there. <laughs> I think maybe we should go and help them nuts out. Dude, seriously, all you got to do is this. Okay, all we've got to do is speed around. Line up. Ish. And off you go. You're welcome. Now we've got to feather this one because it doesn't sit exactly the same speed as the combine. So we have to sort of manipulate the speed. We have to keep changing the speed. That's getting nice and full. Yeah, that's pretty much all we're doing today, I think. Well, we're, no, we're going to hopefully buy that lime spreader, fertilizer spreader. Oh, hang on, got too close to the thing. But we're getting there with this farm. It's looking good. This time around, we are going to be planting wheat or barley. So we can get straw, because we're going to make straw bales and sell those. Excuse me. Then, with the sale of the wheat harvest, or maybe even the oats, I don't know yet, we will grass this field, have the other field, and we'll start working towards getting our coal production in place. So temporarily we will lose crop. This, you know, a good chunk of crop. Oh God, hang on. But at the same time, we won't. We, we, we will be adding to this field at some point. We'll be buying the next plot of land, and it's going to be a big field, just one big huge field. We may section it off. I don't know. Not sure yet. Come here. 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 Come here.
you know, just gonna carry on. That's alright, dude. We will meet you at the other end. We will do it all again. We extract sounds. <laughs> it's cool, man. It's really cool. He's finished doing the field. We're just going to uh, go over the few bits that you've missed. I think there's this bit here. Let's just check the field. Yeah, there's that bit there and there's a tiny piece there. We'll get rid of that. And then we'll hook this guy up to the stone picker. And he can start doing the stone picking while we carry on doing the uh, carting. I have to think what it was called then, because I am selling. So I just picked up the, um, the stone picker. Oh, don't hit the deer. Get out of here, deer. Go poop on my field and give me some nice fertilizer. turning circle on this thing. It's got a great turning circle. We're going to upgrade this at some point to a bigger one. I've decided. Let's <laughs> go empty this guy again. See, is the money, 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 money being dropped into that trailer. <laughs> Even more so once you buy that second plot of land. The third plot of land for the second. Not sure. Really not sure. trailer but I'm not going to drive in the crop to fill it up. I'm going to try and keep some sense of, you know, realistic play. I don't know how successful it's going to be, but uh, yeah. So what I might do actually while I wait for him. I might even, you know what, yeah, let's cut a couple of trees down. We don't just chop them up and get them ready to transport. Um, But yeah, we need to chop some trees and get some extra money in because we need to clear this land anyway, some of this land. So we may as well start in a moment. <laughs> so we're we'll pulling here. That tree, I've decided, is going to have to go. I'll show you which one. Because I want to buy another one of these sheds at some point. Um, so you dump that. This tree here is going to be com coming down. Yeah, I think it will. Because we could put another one of those sheds there. Because those sheds are pretty awesome. I like those sheds. So let's get nice and low. Maximise the profit of the tree. Right, and then we'll chop the... We'll chop the um, the stump down. Is that a no go? Ha! That's a no go. 
Well, we'll have to get a stump grinder on it, won't we? I think. Right, let's chop this. Oh, we need to debranch it first, don't we? Let's debranch this tree. It's quite a big one. There's a couple of thousand pounds in here. Which is nice. We need all the money. Be even nicer when we get um, a log fork for the telehandler and a log trailer. Because I do want to carry on doing logging. I might just buy a plot of land just to make money from the logging. This is going to take a while, man. This is good, though. All I'm seeing is extra moolah. And these are the good trees as well. These, these are the ones that can be felled and chopped. How full is our combine? Okay, I reckon we got time for one run down to the sawmill. What do you think? I'm going with yeah. <laughs> because it could help pay for some of the labour. How do I spin it? Oh, I'll do. Not quite sure what to do with that stump. We're gonna have to get a stump grinder, aren't I? It'd be nice anyway, because it's more realistic. Such a shame I can't strap these down. But we're going to get, honestly, we're going to get all the equipment we need to do things on a proper level, not just half heartedly. This is going to stack. Ooh. Come on. I was going to see if it would. Uh... Here we go. Push, push. Plonk. <laughs> That'll work. Push, push, plonk. Is that a new terminology? No, I think it could be, couldn't it? How long is this piece of wood? Mm, it may fit on the back. Yeah, I'm going to go with, yeah. Look at that. Almost perfect. There we go. It needs to sit in the groove so it will, when it travels it's not going to roll off the side. So we can't have much more on top of this, I don't think. But it's okay, because what we'll do, we'll come back, we'll empty the combine, and we'll load up another trailer's worth. Yeah, can I get one on the edge? I don't think I can. Oh, huh. okay, so let me put one there. One there. Mm, that one might fall off. In fact, I oh oh pants. Oh, it's all going wrong. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's put that one on the top there. That fit. Hmm. I'm going to play it safe, we're going to put it here. That'll do, let's go. Let's go and sell these down at the lock station.
It's always a nice drive down to here, I think. I do quite enjoy it. It's very picturesque, even with the railway line. <laughs> but let's go and have a look and see... sell, sorry, how much we can uh, get for this trailer full of logs. Our combine or our stone picker is full, so have the notification come up, so we'll be swinging back around there to go and empty one of those very shortly. Um, yeah, <laughs> here we are. Right, I think we're in the marker. 1100 pounds. 1100, well, £1,111. £1, 11. Can't complain at that at all. Yep, it was the combine. Although, once we start dumping the grain into the trailer, I shall check on the. Oh no, the stone picker's still going. I can see him. He's still going. He's doing a good job. Oh, no. Speak of the devil, he's just got full. <laughs> so, we'll just dump this off. Early. Here we go. And we will. Well, we've done quite a bit actually. Maybe get two and a half full tanks out of this. Spin this around. Oh, there will do. Lovely. Put you back out on the field. Get you going again. It's easy. All I've got to do is put him back on the wheel tracks of where he already was. Within an inch or two. There we go. And carry on. 78% full, so I'll go and dump that. We're doing alright today. I feel like we're making some real progress with this farm, like on any other series, apart from the original No Man's Land as well, from 22 and 19. I feel like I'm better at these kind of gameplays than I am where the farm's already established. Do you know what I mean? I think you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll dump this off and then we'll see how much we've got. We have just over 34,000 litres of canola so far, plus what's left to harvest. I think I'm going to sell the sprayer eventually and uh, buy a weeder so we don't have that horrible texture. Well, this will soon be done. Then it'll be cultivate the stone pick. See, uh, what shall we do? What shall we plant? So the closest to do is here, but if we do oats, oats is a longer wait for oats, but it's a quick plant. It's a quick turnaround time for oats, isn't it? Yeah, we might do oats because oats are worth quite a bit of money, I think. Yeah, I think we'll do oats because we can get bit of money for oats about the same just under the same as what we can get for um, canola but the 200 pound difference in liters per thousand liters we be made up for by the, uh, the bales so that's pretty good anyway next time you see me which will be in a second I should be buying a fertilizer spreader just dumped off another load um, the combine. Is he done? He's not moving. 
he's not moving either. Okay. Let's check out the combine first. See what's going on over there. Yeah, the combine had um, lost his way. <laughs> Got the tiniest bit of uh, field left to do. This has only got a very small amount of rocks to pick up. So everything is looking pretty good, to be fair. Not many rocks this time, though. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. I think the soil's in better condition, I guess. Okay, why didn't that unload? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Brilliant. So we're just going to see how much canola we've actually got. Uh, just have to refill the combine with fuel. 206 pounds, which is fine. We're going to service this little tractor, I think. I've come to a conclusion, right? We're going to sell this canola before we plant the oaks. So, I think for the time being we're going to hold off with any sprayer by any um, fertilizer spreading buying because we, we can afford to buy the machine we can't afford to buy the product put in the machine so yeah and I think what I'm also going to do is sell that sprayer and get a weeder instead I don't know how much it's worth let's have a look well that's filling up let's have a look how much our weeder is worth our sprayer is worth one. It's worth forty-five and a half thousand. Can I get a weeder for that? A good weeder. Almost. Almost. What's this one? Fifteen meter weeder for forty-five. Oh wow! Look at that. Yes. 15 meters really yeah okay that is what we're gonna buy <laughs> that's made my mind up so for the total of canola we have 36,667 it's a bit less than last time but we'll see so we'll just pull in here or no services tractor real quick I think the trigger point is somewhere here <laughs> I don't know where the trigger point is Where's the trigger point? How much to service you? 857. Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. Uh, you're okay, we'll repair you anyway. I think you're okay, we'll repair you. Because why not? Um, let's take this out of here. you over here and we're gonna go fetch the header put that away we'll just put this here for now there we go we'll go fetch the header put that away and then we'll take that down to buy the to sell the trick to sell the sprayer pick up a weeder. I think that'd be a more viable option to have. So this is a great little tractor to have around the farm. To do the little jobs like pull the header <laughs> and things like that. And a bit of tree cutting for the time being at least. Um, but yeah it's a great little tractor. I'm not getting rid of it. I'll get rid of the implements but I won't get rid of the little tractor I don't think. Even if we don't use it in the end, it's just going to be there. It's a nice little keepsake. So we'll reverse this into here. Whoa, the brakes are a bit. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a slow reverse. I just noticed we have a weeder. Never been used. But it's very small. So I don't think it's going to be... Why are you going that way? You genius. Have you done any of these stones up here? 
didn't know. Brilliant. Okay, well, I'll get this job done then, because clearly our guy is not the cleverest. I'll get this done, I'll be back with you. Actually, you haven't seen me do stone picking, so I thought I'd let it play out a bit. There's not many stones, not very big stones, but, you know, they all count. So it's all good. I can't believe he's done all that and gone the wrong way. <laughs> oh my days, what can I say? What can I say indeed? I don't even know. Oh, this guy's gone. There we go. That's fine because we can use the stone map just to ensure that we've got all the stones. It's looking pretty good so far. I think we are pretty much finished after this run. I did miss some just there. I can't leave any unturned. So <laughs> no stones unpicked. There they are. Where the bonnet is now. Gotcha. That's why I want the bigger one. We'll add to this one. Don't know. Oh okay there's bits there. Oh okay yeah. So we'll just swing, scoop those up. They there, aren't they? Here we go. Yeah, some there as well. Okay. Just go along here and then we'll come back and get the other bits because we haven't got enough width to pick it all up. Right, we'll have to do two more passes, I think. Yeah, I think we will. Yeah, it's not going to pick everything up in one go. But we'll do this and then we'll just check the stone map. There we go. All stones picked. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> is that even a word? I'm not sure it is, to be honest. But, uh, yeah. So I'm going to nip down the shop. I'm going to trade out the sprayer for the weeder. And then we're going to cultivate the field. Okay, let's sell this. Repair it. Fifty thousand. So it made a difference by f four and a half thousand pounds to bring it here. Which means when we buy the uh, weeder, which is fifteen meters wide, we're going to be in profit as well. It's a huge weeder. That is a huge weeder. Let's go and have a look at it. It's going to make a big difference can make our crops look a lot better. Wow, look at that. Yes, brilliant. That looks like it's going to be quite the size. Go back. Okay. So what does a 15 metre see a weeder look like? Yeah, I think that's big enough. <laughs> yeah, I think that's absolutely big enough. 
That'd be perfect. Here we are back at the yard with our newfound beautiful piece of equipment. Well, I've got to turn that mod off. It <laughs> makes his brakes pants. Because on top of the older machinery, the brakes are awful. Are they going to fit in the shed? Yes, it does. Right, let's get some cultivation going. I'm oh crashed. I'm going to leave this video here because I think it's got on long enough. I'm going to cultivate and stone pick that field. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. And the next time you see me, it'll be sale day and planting day. So, till then, take care. Have a good one. Bye for now.